Hi folks, this is Red We Met coming to you with another Red's Bedtime Story. And this one is a little bit different. It's mainly pointed at myself, other people I interacted with, all the way back to uh, Kurt Hansen, uh, Ken Hansen, and through other people, Jimmy Katura, uh, Butch Yeri, and the Southside Boers, and all these people. Uh, I can go on, uh, Abby Fervota. Uh, they lived a life, uh, Joe Lombardo, Jimmy Cozo. Um, I, I can't, there's so many names. Uh, Mikey Switek, other people. But all these people chose to live a life of crime. And where is the honor? in living that way. They say they have honor. Uh, they don't have honor. They start out by stealing and conning and taking things from people. The easy way. The easy way out. Grab from your neighbor. Do this, do that. Eventually it comes to murder. Some of them. Either they get murdered or they are murdered. But where is the honor in it? There is no honor. There is no respect. The only respect is fear. And that's what the mob sells, fear. Chicago outfit sells fear. New York Five families, they argue too much amongst each other. They do over territories and stuff like that. I wrote about it in my book. Uh, Chicago, yeah, they had muscle. They did things that were bad. They got involved in a lot of different things. There's a lot of controversy over uh, Sam Giancana. Uh, Mad Sam, as Di Stefano, he was really a case. All these people along the way that I met through my life and interacted with them, I can tell you this, they had no honor. They had no respect. They didn't tell you good things. They, they took from you. They take. They're, they're bottom feeders. And I didn't respect that at all. I don't think that's uh, something to be proud of. But uh, if you're proud of your family heritage of thieves, uh, people that con people out of things, and uh, just go about life in the wrong way, that means you're, not, you're afraid to work. You're afraid to do the right things, the things that get you ahead. Or maybe that's all you really know because nobody mentored you or brought you up the right way. But the truth of the matter is, we have to live with this in our lives. There are choices that we make. It's not like somebody else is out there telling you, you shouldn't do this. You, you should do it. You should, you should do the right thing. Every time you're out there in the world, every time you do something, fight for what's right, not for what's wrong. These wrong things are, they're destroying you. You're gonna wind up dead sooner or later, or you're gonna wind up in prison, maybe one, two, three times, who knows? That's the way it goes, but uh, it's not the right thing for me to do. I chose a different path. I chose a very different path. And for your critical people that want to call me a rat, it doesn't make any difference to me because the truth of the matter is I know who you are by just saying those words. You don't know who I am. I'm putting myself out there for 26 years or 28 years, something like that. I just climbed in a hole and went away. And, uh, I did my damage to the, the outfit. Uh, my damage was well deserved. There wasn't one person that I ever, ever put in prison that didn't kill somebody. A bookmaker, uh, uh, somebody ran an escort service, uh, somebody ran uh, uh, a B-girl joint by a lady drink, sir, and they made their money that way. They were still all trying to cheat somebody out of something. The easy way out, make that money. And money is not a God. Not, it's not a God. Your life and your family is everything to you. And sometimes you don't have the right uh, means or availability to help yourselves. But uh, it's a good thing that you should think about it. And if you don't want it, you don't have to. I mean, I'm just sending a word out to you, trying to tell you that it's at bottom, it's, it's a dead end. Sooner or later, 
it's all catastrophes. Uh, Marshall Cofano, uh, he paid his price all the way through life. Uh, uh, if you believe in the hereafter, as I do, you'll find out that uh, when you get there, you may have to pay more for what you did through eternity on earth. The things you did on earth, you'll pay for eternity in the hereafter. And some of us believe in it, some of us don't. I do. But anyway, I thought I'd give you this message. Uh, it's Sunday. And it didn't come from uh, a church. It came from me. It came from me. I'm just one of you, but I'm different. And I know I'm different. But I hope you get a little bit out of what I just said to you. And uh, I wrote a book, and I think you know about it. I always mention it. Uh, nobody cares what I did about it. I have a Facebook page that says nobody cares what I did about it. It explains a lot of things that people really don't understand. But I've been shot. I've been cut up. I've been, uh, a lot of things have happened to me in my life. And I accept it. And I accept other people for who they are. If they have shortcomings, well, accept them for their shortcomings. That doesn't mean they have to be your friend. That doesn't mean you have to be close to them. It just means that they are who they are, and you are who you are. So anyway, I hope you have a great, great evening, and God bless you all.